Well, I just saw a video right now about um, how we don't have to pretend to have everything balanced as parents, as mom and dads, as whatever. It's okay to ask for help. And I think in ways I lack that. I don't always have makeup on. I have my hair a complete mess. I get home and I put on my PJs right away. I <clears throat> there are days that I come home so drained from work and from traffic and putting up with obnoxious people you know rude customers that you really are drained out I mean raise your hands if you don't have a day like that but kudos if you have a perfect day every single day but I don't always have a perfect day so how do I do it well I try to have some me time some Vanessa time and sometimes I forget to do that because I am a giver I love to give and I forget about me and I have to learn to put myself as a priority if I am not okay if I am not completely sane then nothing that parent moms do is able to be done now thankfully I have my husband's help but I think a mom's job cannot be done by anybody I work full time. I wake up every day super early in the morning when it's still dark outside and I'm so sleepy and I have to take my son to school and I have to be at work by 7, be there for 8 hours and then put up with traffic, pick up my son from school. Sometimes I don't even want to cook when I get home. Sometimes I don't even want to just, I just want to throw myself in bed. Now how many of us parents have felt like that? And oftentimes we get judged just because we don't want to cook or we don't feel like cleaning or, you know, we are supposed to be super mom and dad. Well, I am super mom and dad because I am providing my kids a future. I am working and helping my husband um, put food in the roof on my kids' head and on their plate food. And just because I don't always feel like cooking and being on the stove and you know being <laughs> like that Hispanic woman who love to cook doesn't make me a bad mom doesn't make me a bad wife it doesn't make me a bad human being now, I've been judged because there's days that I really do not feel like doing absolutely anything now people don't really understand as to being a working mom it's really hard I think a little harder than being a stay-at-home mom because not only do you have to attempt to balance work but you also have to att attempt to balance your marriage and your kids and your duties as a sister and as a daughter and make sure <clears throat> that your brothers are okay and that you ate which is my case and it's not easy it's not easy being a mom and it would be nice if we get judged less us working moms because we do get tired we do come home super drained out and we have to you know somehow put a smile on our faces and just cook and clean and do everything now there's women who do it naturally but not me i don't always look beautiful i have my hair in a little bun right now with hair sticking out everywhere and i am fine with that i am fine with not being a super cooking woman i like to cook i'm not passionate about cooking but i would love to have a break from people telling me oh well you know, if you don't cook for your kids, they're not going to do it for themselves. Well, my son knows how to cook for himself. Because I taught him since he was very little how to cook for himself. Now, that doesn't mean that I'm never going to cook for him. But there's days that I want a break. And I actually want to just lay in bed and be like, 
all lazy. It would be nice to have some kudos. Hey, you know, um, big kudos to you because, you know, you're a working mom and you have to balance this and that and attempt to be sane. So for all of you people who love to judge working parents, I would suggest that you really sit back and think before you judge us because we do a lot. And above all that, we also have to take care of ourselves. I haven't done my nails. I need to do my nails. I need to do my feet. I need to do my hair. And that is all part of self-love, self-care. So, with that said, please don't judge working parents. Don't. Please don't. Just stop before you do that. Because it's really de it's sad to see us getting judged by people who have nothing else to say. But, uh, but you know, you have to be behind the stove 24-7 and cook for your men and cook for your kids. I understand if your kids were little and you have to cook for them. But if your kids are already 16 and they're already about to be 17 and they know how to cook. I'm sure they can cook you a meal from time to time. You know, I know I did it when I was, you know, a teenager. My mom would come home like super late at night and I had to cook. I had to help her clean the house and I had to help her clean the kitchen and cook. So when my mom got home, she came to clean home and she had nice warm food to eat. So, there's absolutely nothing wrong with your kids cooking for you once in a while or twice a week. There's nothing wrong with that. It doesn't make you a bad parent. And don't let nobody tell you that you're being a bad parent because you're not. You're a great parent. You're an amazing parent because you're working hard to give your kids a future, to give your kids a roof along with your spouse or by yourself. Like in many cases, they're single parents. So be kudos to you guys. Don't ever let anybody put you down. Don't allow anybody to tell you that you're not good enough or you're not being a good parent because you are. You're a great and amazing parent. So till then, I just had to say that because that video really like brought up a lot of things that people sometimes tell me. Oh, they love to judge. But I don't judge nobody. I don't judge your parenting skills. So that's up to you. So with that said, guys, love you guys. So don't forget to smash that red subscribe button. And don't forget to give my videos a big thumbs up. And if you want to leave your comments down below, just make sure you leave them down there. Till then, later. Bye.